In this video, we are going to show you how to replace your front struts. Let's get started. Okay friends, it's time to get started on our job. The first thing you need to do is safely raise and support the front of the vehicle so the wheels are off the ground. After you have the wheel up in the air, continue on by removing all six of your 21 millimeter lug nuts and then the wheel. Now let's take one of our lug nuts and a spacer. We're gonna use this to hold the rotor in place while we continue. Now that we have the safety nut on there, the next thing you wanna do is carefully put something underneath the lower control arm to apply some upward pressure. Now we can remove the nut holding the outer tie rod end to our knuckle. We'll use a 22 millimeter for this. The next area we're going to move to is the lower aspect of the strut where it connects onto your lower control arm. Now for this, you're going to find that you have a 19 millimeter headed bolt coming from the forward side through to the rear. On the back side, there's a 19 millimeter headed nut. We'll hold that nut in place and then remove the bolt. Now we're gonna to have to move along to removing the sway bar link from the lower control arm. This can very easily be done by coming through this area and holding onto the stud of the sway bar link with a 19 millimeter wrench. While you're holding that, make your way out here to the 17 millimeter nut and remove it. Once you have this one separated, go over to the other side of the vehicle and do the exact same thing. We have to move the bar down. Once you have the other side sway bar link off of there, you can swing the sway bar links aside and bring the bar down. Up along the top area, you're gonna find three 14 millimeter headed nuts. One here, over here, and a little bit further towards the inboard side. Do not touch this center nut. We're not doing anything with that center nut. Now with that said, let's continue on with our 14 millimeter socket and remove each of our three mounting nuts. You want to make sure you leave one of them on there, a couple good threads, so you can hold onto the strut while you continue removing it. Now at this point, we've removed our top nuts, in exception of one, which is on there just a few threads. Next, continue in between this area. You want to get in between the strut tower and the coil spring and gently pry this down. When you pry it down, make sure the lower aspect of the strut does not damage your axle boot. Now I'll fully remove that last nut from the top. Remove the strut. Now with the strut out of there, you wanna pay attention to the top of the strut tower, where that new strut cap is gonna go. You wanna make sure it's a smooth surface. If you see any rusted or raised areas, go ahead and take them off of there. All right, now it's time to install our front strut assembly. We'll take it and slide it into position, lining up our top studs with the top mounting holes. Now you can take your three mounting nuts and start each of those on.
Now we're gonna pay attention in the lower area of the strut. We need to line up the two holes and then take our mounting bolt and slide it right on through from the front towards the rear. When you're doing this, you might either have to raise or lower the lower control arm. Start on your mounting nut. Before you tighten any of your mounting hardware for your front strut, it's important to make sure you raise the lower control arm up to the original ride height position. So picture it as if the vehicle is on the ground, the weight of the body is down. It's gonna be compressed a little bit. This can easily be done by raising the control arm until it feels as though the frame of the truck tries to lift as well. Now the next thing we want to do is bottom these out and then we'll torque them to 22 foot pounds. Now we can bottom out the lower strut bolt and then torque that to 99 foot pounds. Now the next thing that you would want to do would be to put the sway bar link back into position into the lower control arm. But whenever you're doing a front strut or even a rear shock of any sort, you do these as a pair. So with that said, when you're doing the other side strut, this bar still needs to be in the down position to be able to replace it. So if that's the case, you're doing both. Make your way over to the other side of the vehicle and get back to this point. Your new strut's in there and you're ready to put the sway bar link into the position. Let's take that bar, swing the sway bar link into the lower control arm. Start the nut on there. We're gonna hold the stud with a 19 millimeter wrench and snug the nut with a 17 millimeter. Now it's time to reinstall our outer tie rod end. Go ahead and snug that and then torque it to 63 foot pounds. Now we can remove our safety lug nut and spacer. At this point, you're ready to reinstall your wheel. We'll start on all six of our 21 millimeter lug nuts, snug up the lug nuts, get the wheel safely back down on the ground, and then torque each of them to 97 foot pounds. With the wheels safely back on the ground, we'll torque these in a crisscross manner. Torqued. Okay friend, the car's back together. At this point, you can go ahead and take it for a road test, make sure you don't hear any funny noises, then get yourself safely down to your local alignment shop. Thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do.
TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.